Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley for tuning in for the first time. Today I'm gonna to be doing a start to finish install. I have gymnastics in about an hour with the kids and I'm trying to take them on a movie night but I haven't told them yet because if I tell them then I have to take them but if after gymnastics I'm feeling lazy, I can just come home and just we can get something to eat. Anyways, I did a quick install. I had about 15 to 20 minutes to be able to get myself together. So I did a little bit of makeup glam. I just feel good on a weekend and on a Friday night when I put my makeup together. It makes me want to do something and it makes me feel good and confident and all those things. So I love the fact that Y wig sent me over this gorgeous, easy, super beginner friendly closure lace wig. I went ahead and washed it before um, I started this tutorial. And guess what? I used honest brand i use my kids like at my bathtub i have their um body wash which is like a body wash slash shampoo i use that to wash this one time and then i use the conditioner and it like made this hair feel like butter i don't recommend using like your baby's products for your hair extensions but when in need and like you don't have anything handy at the moment it worked amazing so i went ahead and did a good wash and condition so that i can give you guys the best quality and the best look at this hair and then we're going to do a super beginner friendly install this is going to be my go-to wig for the next week when i go to boxing and stuff because it's closure i can just go ahead and take it off take my shower take care of my real hair pop it back on if i do need a little bit of reassurance because i'm going to be working out i can just add a little one two to the hairline and that's why i did add baby hair because when I don't want to like install the wig, I don't want to be able to see that lace. So that's why I have the baby hair here. Anyways, I'm rambling, but without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. Okay, babies, before we get started, I wanted to show you the wig dry down. I love how fluffy the baby hair is. It just kind of moves as it wants all over. And this is the hair, and this is literally like in the middle of the night. You can kind of tell I fell asleep on the hair, but I wanted to show you how beautiful and fluffy it is once it dries down. You'll see a little bit more of that at the end of the video, but this is the beginning. This is the wig straight out of the sink, shampoo and conditioner with the Honest brand. Yes, my kids shampoo and conditioner were right there, and I used it did amazing smelled amazing and this is the inside construction of the cap we are working with a 20 inch loose wave hd 6x6 lace closure wig i love the fact that it has a breathable cap and if i did not mention it's 180 percent density i'm going to start off by attaching or adding the adjustable strap behind on my braids putting the rest of the wig on and now we're just going to go ahead and assess what we got working this is the hairline i'm going to go ahead and pluck it out a little bit more in just a moment kind of deciding what i wanted to do a side part will work great even though this is a closure because it is a six by six you can definitely do a curved part a side part no part flip over you can kind of do still a lot of versatile things with this wig i'm going to go for a center part so let's start off by pulling the hair back it's always best to kind of like get the hair out of the way for a clean you know install clean everything if the hair is out of the way it just makes it easier for everything to be clean 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 so here i am just cutting off the excess lace i love a good fresh eyebrow razor now the key to these is making sure that they are fresh and sharp once they get dull it just is a pain and this is kind of the the lace the excess lace against my complexion it blends beautifully so you don't have to really do too much to make it blend here i am adding my adhesive of choice i haven't used this one in a while i don't think so i was happy to pull this one out of the archive worked amazing but because this wig does fit glueless i just applied the product and i didn't worry about blow drying it because it's going to just air dry naturally i did also want to go in and kind of tweeze out the hairline now don't be like me don't do this this can definitely tear a hole in your lace and i've done it many of times but it's just my easy lazy way of thinning out the hairline i pulled out what would technically be considered baby hair and just kind of like did a pull method to kind of like thin it out once i did that i kind of went back another like row of hair if you will and i just kind of like thinned that out as well i just wanted it to be a little bit more um you know like natural or thin in the front or for the hairline and again this works for me because i get i get it done in less than a minute whereas if i pluck and tweeze i'm gonna be here for a minute but again i highly recommend that you use your tweezers to get this done and use like a nice fresh like sharp pair then I went in with a second coat of that um, adhesive. It's a glueless adhesive. It's actually like an extra hold hairspray. Blow dry on a cool setting because now I really want to bond the wig down and I really want it to be melted. I'm using that same eyebrow razor to kind of just do a jagged cut on the baby hair. 
I'm really wanting to form them, not with edge control, but with mousse because I want them to be fluffy and like wispy and just kind of like perfectly curved so that they can just move and lay as they please, but not necessarily like bonded down or like melted to my complexion or my skin rather. And so you're going to see right here, I'm just kind of doing the work to kind of like make them the perfect length. And then also again, just forming them so that they can have the perfect swoop naturally. I'm using mousse as I mentioned to do that and again I'm just going in different directions at some point I did kind of pull majority of the hair back because at, at some point I was just like maybe I shouldn't do baby hair at all but I feel like the advantage of working with like wavy hair especially like loose wave or deep wave I feel like you can get away with fuller baby hair and curlier baby hair and it kind of matches and blends whereas if you're doing like bone straight or like you know like body wave curls flat iron curls or you know curling iron curls it's a little bit better if they're not like everywhere if that makes any sense now since i said we're going with a center part let's go ahead and stamp it out wax stick paired with the electric hot comb this is my favorite dynamic duo and i do use the back of the um flat iron or hot comb because I do want to keep the waves I don't want to like press it out per se I just want to flatten it so that it just looks better to me and I do need to um take care of my braids underneath so if it does look a little bit more full don't worry once the hair like dries you won't be able to tell but I definitely 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 need to get my braids together underneath because they are a little bit bulky here I'm combing it out once I went ahead and formed the baby hair with the melt belt and just let it mold again I wanted it to not be attached to my head so I just want them to just sit there and just you know lay as they may so now I'm just going to go in with the Too Faced concealer and this is going to do a awesome job at concealing the parting and just making it um so that you don't see the lace um or my cap underneath for that matter and it just everything blends and melts with my skin perfectly as well as a foundation powder along the front now the bonus of washing and conditioning your hair before you install is that you will need much much less product and there will be much less work to do as far as the ends go you guys know when i do a straight out of the box install i use so much mousse and i kind of like that for me but obviously this is just more efficient as far as just using even this looks like a lot but if you've seen my videos where i do a straight out of the box you know i use a ton i literally put a dent in that nairobi mousse this is my favorite mousse on my bundles or my wigs it just I don't know it does a job at adding the sheen it definitely makes the curls or the waves pop beautifully it dries well it doesn't leave like a sticky residue or anything like that but this is what the hair looks like once you've styled it and you've like clumped the hair with the dimming brush and it's still like maybe 70 80 percent wet and this is what the hair looks like when it's completely dry it's absolutely beautiful i literally slept on it and you can see my makeup i was knocked out sleep love the way this looks this is going to just look natural for every day in ponytails and buns and down and in pony you know just everything i love it okay love bucks so we are done with this look so as i mentioned this one did come from y wigs and this is the packaging here so this one did include some goodies inside they did give me a pack of wig caps excuse my son he's playing fortnite he's actually filming for his youtube channel so follow him kid diamond they gave me these little two strips here um i didn't notice these beforehand but i guess it's like that fake scalp where you can kind of like tape it in the inside and it's supposed to um help to make the lace look more like fake scalp or just like a perfect um tint to the lace i think these may be too light for me so i put these in i'm still gonna have to customize the um Hair. So I did opt out of using these, but these are a great option again to help to not have to use um, any like um, what do I call this lace tint, if you will. And this I had a peek at because I first the the package was super heavy, and I was like, did they send me two wigs because that wasn't um, what we discussed. And so I'm like, did they give me an extra wig? And I'm like, this is not a wig. What is this? Y'all, this is something that I've always wanted and never got for myself. And I'm actually super excited. Like, super duper 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 excited to have it because I feel official. Let me try to get it for you guys. I won't be able to show you guys in full. But get this. They sent me a cape. Like, I'm a real hairstylist. Like, oh my gosh. So, it has the gathering here to go around. And it hooks. So, it has the two hooks. So, you gather and hook it like this. And it's big enough that, you know, of course, it'll cover a client or a.k.a. myself or my kids. And look, it has their logo on it. And it's nice and long, so it definitely would cover someone up. 
I love this for me. I'm thinking about getting a salon suite. I don't know if I have to have a cosmetic my son. I don't know if I have to have a cosmetology license to get a salon suite. I'm kind of considering getting a cosmetology license just in general. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy about this. I'm sorry I'm balling it back up, but um, I have so much stuff right here. But I love that for me. As you guys can see, the hair is filling out as it starts to dry. I hope you guys loved this tutorial. Be sure to check out Why Wigs. This wig is absolutely a must-have for the spring and summer seasons. Direct link to this wig is in the description box as well as lists and links of everything we used to complete this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.